Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're diving into a fascinating challenge in the world of image processing. Our viewer is working with an autoencoder that takes an image as input and produces a new image as output. But there's a twist. They are splitting the input image into smaller patches before feeding it to the network. The big question is, how do you reconstruct the original image from these patches after processing? Let's break it down. All right, guys, welcome back to another tech video. Today, we're gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution for you. Now, don't forget to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you'll get to that resolution. Anyway, on to the video, cheers. Let's begin by understanding the problem. You have an autoencoder that processes an image by splitting it into smaller patches. The input image is of size one by 1024 by 1024 by three and it gets divided into patches of size 1024 by 32 by 32 by 3. You use TensorFlow's Extract Image Patches function to create these patches. The code snippet shows how you achieve this. Notice how you reshape the patches after extraction. Now, when you attempt to reconstruct the image from these patches, you use another reshape operation. However, this is where the issue arises. The patches need to be arranged correctly to form the original image. The problem occurs because the patches are not in the correct order after reshaping. You need to ensure that the patches are arranged in a grid format that matches the original image layout. To fix this, you can use tfimage.resize or a similar function to correctly position the patches before reshaping them back into the original image size. This will help you achieve the desired output. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. Reconstructing an image after using extract image patches can be tricky. Instead, it's easier to create a custom function for non-overlapping patches. You can reverse the operations from the image to patches function to get back the original image. Here's a code sample that demonstrates how to extract patches from an image and visualize both the original image and the patches. The code also includes visualization using matplotlib, showing the original image and its corresponding patches side by side. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To reconstruct an image after using extract image patches, you can follow this method. First, determine the shape of your image and calculate the number of patches. Then, extract the patches using TensorFlow's Extract Patches function. Next, reshape the patches and split them into rows. Finally, concatenate the rows to form the reconstructed image. This method effectively combines the patches back into the original image format. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer.
This code demonstrates how to reconstruct an image after extracting patches using TensorFlow. It works well for square images with a square kernel, provided the image size is divisible by the kernel size. The process involves extracting patches from the image, reshaping them, and then reconstructing the image back. The code uses TensorFlow's Extract Image Patches function. Finally, the reconstructed image is displayed using Matplotlib to verify the results. Note that this code hasn't been tested for non-square images or different configurations. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. If you're using TensorFlow 2.0, you can easily reconstruct images after extracting patches. Just use the space to depth and depth to space functions. But remember, this works best when you're not dealing with overlapping blocks. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. This user shares a solution for reconstructing images from non-overlapping patches using TensorFlow 2.3. They provide a custom layer called Patches to Image. The Patches to Image layer takes image height, width, channels, and patch size as inputs. It reshapes the input patches and uses depth to space to reconstruct the image. Finally, the layer squeezes the output if needed and returns the reconstructed image. This approach is efficient for both single and multi-channel images. And that's it guys. I hope this video helped answer your question and you found that answer that you're looking for. Now, please hit subscribe for the help. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you next time on another one of these videos. Cheers.